Hey everyone, I forgot about the uh, banana split hat. Hey everyone, welcome back to another of the Maury's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing. Let's go to the city or Animal Crossing city folk. And yes, we are wearing a banana split hat. Um, it is part of the DLC item uh, of this month that's been redistributed and it is very bizarre, but I think because it's new, we're just going to wear it for today. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's going to be a permanent fashion statement, but I think we'll just wear it for today because it's, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, it is Sunday, so we're a day behind of playing a bit of catch up again, but it's looking pretty dull and miserable. Um, so I think today we're just going to play catch up after a what was probably a very successful bug off. We should have a letter I'm hoping with a trophy um, so I think we'll go and see the bulletin board first actually then we'll come and check our mail and we'll go from there uh, let's see how things are going everything's looking cool here we need to oh yes we're gonna sort out this garden today aren't we we've got a hybrid to move we've got a tree to cut down and we've got our letters to check or manage I guess uh, <laughs> I can't take my I can't take my character seriously this this hat it's just something else. Uh, I think I can I can see the sheep are judging me. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully we won. Uh, oh, 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 wow, look special. Just in, we received a rare piece, a master sword in our showroom. Yes, we haven't got the master sword. Um, Oh, it was whoo our bug off results the MVP of the 17th of the 6th bug off which was Saturday was Maury was a massive 103 point Goliath beetle nice and oh the 18th this is to wait why is, is that posted today oh yes and um, today's Father's Day don't forget to tell your dad thanks today oh yes Father's Day was yesterday happy Father's Day everybody um, to all the dads and the parents out there uh, and the children as well. Hope everyone had a good day. Right, let's um, head to, where are we gonna go? I've totally lost my trail of thought. Francine, don't judge me. Don't judge this hat. Otherwise I'll make you all wear this hat. <laughs> uh, right, what am I doing? I totally forgot. Oh yes, yeah, so I was getting excited by the Master Sword. Uh, but before we go and check Nooks, we should probably go and check our mail because I'm hoping there's a bug off trophy in there um, and I'm also quite nervous on how the next bug off is going to take place I wonder if next time it's going to be like a single bug you have to catch if it's like the fishing tourney or if it's just always any bugs um, oh yes we got a letter from Apollo Oh, we need to save some mail right let's read the happy homeroom Academy don't care for this your room got 38 yeah we know, not very good. We've had nearly double that. Um, this is Happy Room Academy as well. 70 points. Wait, was that? Uh, sorry, let me just read that again. Uh, the says, have a present. Oh yes, we want to keep this one because this was when we got a present. Right, we're going to have to go to the post office and save some presents or letters. Let's see what we get from Apollo here. Uh, it's always good to get loot in the mail. You sent me something that I didn't deserve, so this is a way of saying thanks. I can't stay mad at you. I don't think we we have any reason for you to be mad at us, Apollo, if I'm honest. Uh, a hammock. <laughs> okay, we've got a bunch of stuff we need to get rid of. Actually, do you know what? We're going to have to go to Nooks first, just to sell what we've got in our pockets. Then go and... Today's just going to be about arranging, okay? Sometimes this happens. We need to empty pockets. Oh, we've got loads of stuff over there to sell as well. I totally forgot. I put things down to sell later and I just forget about them. Um, we'll go upstairs later and get the Master Sword though. Um, but first, we're just going to sort the letters out and get rid of this stuff and make some space. Because we have to, ha I need to pull all of the, or a lot of the, um, tools out of my letters so let's see here it'll just make it easier to organize the letters when we get to the post office see how many tools we have to carry <laughs> it just literally doesn't leave any pocket space at all right we'll head to the post office or I call it the post office it's the town hall um, 
I always forget, it's the town hall, not the post office. So, must remember not to pick up patterns as I start to run. And this will just allow us to clear our mailbox as well. I'm just weird, I like to keep a lot of the letters, mostly ones from like milestones, like you've reached 70 points from the, the Happy Room Academy and random ones from like, I don't know, like when you've, from events or something like that. Uh, any from villagers though, we can just get randomly again in the future, so I don't care too much about those. So like, let's save some mail. So what we've got here, we've got all from the um, mum. We're gonna have to set up a bigger drawer here. Um, have we got any from our mum in here? Yep. And reconnect 24 is gonna be the big one. Records. I think I put those on the last. There we go. So these are the reconnect 24s. These are all the DLC items, and they're just because they're they're typically like limited edition like one-off letters that's why i keep these and it's also a reminder it's a bit of a nice checklist to go back and see which uh items we got from the dlc there and we're actually working backwards so this was the first one i believe um anniversary we locker was the we locker was the first one i think so it goes this like this and we're happy at home room got six as well uh, okay, we can get rid of the this homeroom score. Actually, we'll keep that one just in case we need to put anything in it. Chip is here. Chip, chip, chip. You have to bear with me. This is just me being weird. Um, happy Room Academy, Happy Room Academy. So we're going to move that there and then there. Okay. And that should be all the letters we need to save for a while. Thank you, Pelly. You're very helpful putting up with my weirdness. Uh, ooh! What's that? A, a wash basin. And a ranch table. Okay. Alright, let's go. We must, mustn't forget to plant another money tree today as well. We need to be doing one every day for about a week. We're about halfway through now, probably. We'll do that towards the end. We might have to make another trip into Nooks, otherwise I'm going to forget to clean up all of the items I left over here. But I forgot it was Father's Day. I wonder if we get a letter. Um, what are these ones? Sailor's hat. So we're not going to need... We'll put that in here because we're going to be using that. Oh, we've got two petal and the... Oh yeah, the mint umbrella. And then I can just hold that for a second. And then that way I can grab these. And then we won't have to worry about any more cleaning up today. Oh, I wonder if we can put some flowers here. That's a little bit of a strange tile. Okay, so we'll just sell this, then we'll get finally back to our house. This is going to be one of those episodes where we just have to do lots of little things um, before we get around to even our daily tasks. I want to sell... Um, we don't want any of this. Petal, parasol we're going to keep. That is everything. Sailor's hat we don't want. Let's don't want to accidentally sell something. I think we're good. <laughs> Right, let's see here and organize our stuff a little bit. Um, actually, yeah, that's fine, isn't it? Okay, let's go check our mail before we do anything else. I'm kind of hoping there's a letter from my dad. I don't know um, if Father's Day is celebrated in this Animal Crossing. Tour time is definitely not out of the town hall. He, he was snoozing away in the back there. He was asleep on the job. But we've got some other mail anyway. Let's see, we've got... Uh, oh, we got one from Dad. I guess that might be regarding Father's Day. From Harry. And the bug off. Okay, so we've got some exciting things to do. This was from Harry, our welcome letter, wasn't it? Let's see what Harry had to say. Maury, thanks for a great gift. Yeah, the gift you give back to us the next day. 
The letter was good too. I was so happy I teared up a little. Take this gift as my way of saying thanks. Make good use of it, okay? Uh, okay, Harry, what is it gonna be? I'm worried. I'm concerned. Oh, maple bonsai. We can live with that. Right, we'll do the bug off next. Uh, the results are in. The winner of the 17th of June, 2023, bug off was Maury's Amazing 103 Point Goliath Beetle. Kudos. The bug off commission. Nice. And I'm assuming this is a trophy. A bug trophy. Cool. And the moment of truth, the message from our dad. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dear Maury, pop quiz. Do you know what today it? Uh, do you know what day it is today? It's Father's Day, Dad. And we've got some nice, sparkling um, firework paper, which is pretty cool. I'm assuming that's unique to events, maybe even unique to Father's Day, but probably just events in general. So it's quite nice to get a, a letter off our dad. Did we get a gift? We did get a gift. Ooh, what's it gonna be? Probably rat, something random. Oh, red carnation bag. Nice. Uh, we'll go and plant those, but let's put our trophy inside first. Um, so we, ha ha we have had Mother's Day already. Uh, we got pink carnation, so I guess that makes sense. Should have saw that coming. I think that's the same as New Leaf, actually. Uh, okay, so we've got our silver trophy there. Let's check out what a bug trophy looks like. I assume it's just got a bug on the top. Hey, the butterfly. Pretty good. So how do we get the silver bug off trophy then? We mu that must be, they must do like butterfly only bug offs or something. Kind of like how the fishing tournaments works. So that'll be interesting. We have to wait till July for that because it's one once a month. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. I like getting the trophies. It's a new trophy. We've got a whole bunch of fishing trophies, but no. Well, that's the first bug off trophy. So that's pretty good. Okay. Let's go and plant our flowers. We mustn't forget to grab the Master Sword. Because we haven't seen that yet in this game. Um, so we could probably put these with our other carnations. Which are here. I don't know if you can get any hybrid carnations, but they might breed some more. Um, there we go. And then we can just... Actually, we can empty our stuff a little bit here, can't we? So we're not going to need umbrella, card. I don't plan on doing fishing or bug hunting today. We're going to keep that hat. That was a present, and that's what we're wearing at the moment. And the bonsai we may or may not use. There we go. Oh, yes, they do look cool. I'm hoping we could grow some more. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's any hybrid carnations. It would be cool if there was. Maybe there is. But we'll just water these. Make sure we get the tile there. And who knows, maybe they'll spawn another carnation. Hey! <laughs> just watering the path in front of you, Francine. Uh, pardon, M Sugar. Or Sugar M, even. Uh, remember, oh, remember that trendy zebra turkey fish I asked for you? This fish fashion is over, so I don't need it. Oh, okay. Sorry for the trouble, but you can stop worrying about it. Oh, to, to be honest, I, I totally, uh, yeah. Okay, we'll stop worrying about it. <laughs> okay, let's make our way round to... <gasps> no! Our hybrid pansies, no! Come back to life! It should come back to life. This is the silver watering can, isn't it? I was going to move those today. I can't believe they withered in less than a day. Or actually, just overnight. Uh, we'll go around and plant our money tree now and, and check up on the other money trees. We're turning it into some kind of like worshipping area or some kind of meeting ground. Because um, we're going to try and make a circle of money trees. Yes, so far so good. Two money trees. Okay, let's pick up the next money bag. Oh, there's a balloon. Where is it going? Gone. Oh, there it is. 
I could I was like, I could sworn I heard it. I couldn't see it anywhere. It must have been behind a tree or something. Oh, I wish I'd have left that there actually. That's quite a cute place to have a, a present. I wonder if we can tactfully position any other presents around here. Anyway, back to our growing. So I think what we're gonna do is something like this. That might not be big enough, so we might end up having to go... Right, we're gonna have to cut some tree down here. Have we got our ax on us? Yeah. It's gonna have to go, and I think this one's gonna have to go as well. If we just do it like this, it's gonna be a bit... You're not gonna be able to see it because the tall trees in front will cover the gap. And I kind of want to put some patterns here. So we might have to end up making it. Um, a bit wider. We could even do it like this. Yeah, that would be enough, wouldn't it? Or we could do do it there so that, yeah that's too much I like that this idea actually so that would be there that one would be oh I don't know if that should grow there shouldn't it because that one grew um, and then we plant one here get rid of this stump we may as well, because this is a big open area that nothing else is happening in. And then it would be like this. It's quite large, but I think once the trees have grown, bearing in mind they're, they're quite tall. So they're going to come up to about where my, my head is now. So you're going to have to be quite above it to see it inside anyway. And I thought we could put some glyphs in here or some gyroids in a circle or something. Yeah, I think that is going to be good enough. I'm a bit unsure whether this one will grow. It should grow. Is this how we want it? I'm just having a think. I think, is it too big? Maybe it's too big. The thing is, no villagers are going to move here because there's no signposts. There's never going to be a rock here. The only thing we could put here is like a fruit orchard, but we're turning it into a money tree orchard, so I guess it's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, we'll, we'll go for it here. Um, I'm gonna increase the odds of this one growing as much as possible, I think. We're gonna put a 99 in this one. Uh, a lab bench right so let's just do one double check uh, so we've only got room for three more actually so it might take a little longer to grow the others but I think that's big enough again if it doesn't look right Although it'll cost a lot of money, we can always change it. Oops, I used the wrong uh, shovel. Look, I'm rich again! I dug up 99,000 bells! Let's try again. And slowly step away. There we go. So we've got three more bags, so... One, two, three, and then we'll have to we'll have to just try some cheap trees to get the last two. But yeah, actually, we don't even need to put the last two on. We could bring a path up this area, but we'll figure that all that stuff out later. I think that's going to be big enough. Now. It looks a bit big at the moment. I'm sorry I'm rambling about this. I just want to make sure that we do it right. This looks a bit big at the moment, but I do think once these front trees are fully grown, 
it's going to look much better. So I think we've done the right thing there. It's a bit more of an oval actually because we haven't got a tree where that bag is and then these two would be one further out but because of this one here. So we've got like a circle then it's a little bit extended either side but I think that will work. Okay, since we can't move our hybrid because it withered, hopefully it'll be back tomorrow. But we can still go and cut this tree down over here in the garden and we'll see what it looks like as a stump and then I think we want to keep it as a stump but if it looks too silly we'll just we'll get rid of that as well mind your windows nook whoa uh, eventually the pansy hybrids will go here these this can move Okay, good. That's all we really need to, all we really can do there actually. And plant those. Cross it over there. Right, that's all I really wanted to do here because I was hoping to move the pansies, but we can't do that just yet. So we're gonna go and find the money rock and then we're gonna go and hopefully buy the master sword. We do have a, uh, Triforce already. So we might have to get the Triforce out of storage, although I think we gave it to Mary. Just because we haven't really got the space in our house for cool stuff. Okay, we found the money rock. Any doubles? No doubles today. Um. Still can't complain at 8,100. Being lazy with the fossils again. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's go and buy this Master Sword. I'm super excited. I uh, love the Master Sword item. It was something I used to love getting in the Game Gear version. Before I realized Nintendo crossed over their franchises so much. Uh, welcome, welcome. We do have one special item today, yes? Good, we're just gonna sell these couple of in here. I don't think we're gonna use the bonsai. Um, just yet, so might as well sell it. Hopefully there's some cool exotic furniture or cabana furniture upstairs. Because that is what we're decorating our basement with. Oh yes, that's an, is that an exotic table or is that a classic table actually? <gasps> wow, look how beautiful it is! How much? Excellent choice, sir! That's our spotlight product, the Master Sword. It's a bargain at 2,660 bells! That is a bargain. Uh, very well, that's 2,660 bells. It's almost like we have to buy this ruin as well, isn't it? <laughs> the broken post because obviously we have the Master Sword. It's got to go in our basement. Even if just while we're building the um, our new layout. Oh, it's just a glass top table. Oh. That definitely looks like it belongs in the exotic set, doesn't it? Uh, that's the dirt clod wall. No, thank you. Hoping for some exotic or cabana. Chain link fence? What does that look like? Oh, cool. I've never seen that one before. It's like uh, in a city. Maybe like the edge of like a basketball court or something. We'll take that. Pretty cool. We won't use it, but we catalog it. Ornate wall, no thank you, Timmy. Regal carpet. What does that look like? Let me see. Regal. Why isn't the re? Wait. Am I thinking of the right set here? Is that maybe that's the carpet? No, that isn't the carpet we're already using, is it? Kitty tile, no, because we've got the regal stuff upstairs in our fruit room. But I, I was expecting the regal carpet to be white. Imperial tile, no, thank you. Okay, I don't think we need a 
what is this, a cabin bed or a ranch bed? Ranch bed. Do you know what we're going to buy, just in case? And we'll sell back this stuff that we don't need. Uh, Master we're going to keep, broker post we're going to keep, and get rid of these. They must like, what are you doing? Buying stuff and selling stuff, are you mad? Okay, let's go and put our muscle in our basement. It's a very funny episode. We're all over the place today. Lots of little things to get done, though. Uh, while we're in here, we'll buy the flowers as well. Especially since we've got a big shop in that. Big shop in that, so we may as well buy as many as we can get. Take that. Buy all of these. And I, we're going to have to rethink what we're doing with the trees now because we were waiting for Gladys to leave. Um, and then Gladys left and Harry moved in. <laughs> so maybe we should just start somewhere else with our called dense forest area. Oh, we can't carry anymore. Um, let's see, okay, we really can't carry anymore. Okay, well, the flowers are enough for today. We, we can grab some trees. We've got plenty laying around anyway. Um, so we don't, we're not desperate for the trees. But we will get around to extending our forest soon. Oh, it's so dull out here. Where's the sunshine? Okay, let's go and drop some flowers here. It's looking pretty withered. Yeah. And wow, this path is not healing very well. It's because we've got no flowers here. Right, I'm excited to put the sword in our basement. It probably won't stay there. Um, it's just whilst we continue to decorate. Um, because we're just we're waiting to get we might have to even order a bunch off Nook. We're waiting for the more exotic furniture and cabana furniture, but I do love the master sword, so we definitely have to have it out on display for a little while. It's so good, it's so massive in this game. It looks a lot different than I remember. That's so cool. I wish the broken stick was or broken uh what's it called like broken post was higher we might have to order another one it's pretty cool i think we'll just move this over here until we find number six shirt um but yeah <laughs> it kind of goes with the triforce wallpaper for now but we definitely have to admire it for a little while oh no way hey <laughs> okay and the one last thing i just wanted to check today is the regal wallpaper uh, regal carpet that we just bought uh, we have, of course, got a lot of the regal furniture up here. This is the regal furniture. Regal bookcase. Oh, did I sell it? Oops, I accidentally sold it. Uh, oh, well, we don't need it. <laughs> I was going to see what it looked like with the regal furniture because I didn't expect it to be the color it was. But it probably makes sense to keep with the citrus layout anyway. Seems uh, everything else that we've got going on here. I love this room, actually. This has come together quite well. Um, but yeah, that's all I really needed to do today is just to sort the garden out, plant a money tree, and check out to see if it was Father's Day, which it was. It wasn't really celebrated, but we did get a lovely letter from our dad and a present. So, can't complain of that. We planted our present from our dad, some red carnations. Hopefully, they spawn at least another carnation. It'd be good to have some more. I don't think there's any hybrids, but it would still be nice just to get a few more carnations. But there we have it. Uh, wasn't expecting to see a spotlight master source. That was pretty exciting too. So I hope you enjoyed seeing that. Let me know if you're still happy to go with the exotic and cabana basement. And we will get to work on that this week. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed just seeing us run around on a bit of a dull day. But I hope you enjoyed the, the Father's Day kind of nod to Father's Day event as well. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Uh, and thank you, of course, more importantly, to the channel members for making this all happen. Um, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!